21, we're live from Athens, Georgia. We're doing a live satellite presentation. Over the past few years, from time to time, I've heard an expression used to describe a certain kind or style of record. That expression is a Warner Brothers record. To quote, that album sounds like a Warner Brothers album. When I first heard the expression, it confused me. I wasn't quite sure what it meant. But after thinking about it for a while, it became obvious that Warner Brothers has been associated with great artists over the years. Artists who had vision, artists who were uncompromising, who were unconventional, who didn't care about making records uh, that were mainstream. Um, artists who had a personality. Personality came out <clears throat> through records that often had or seemed to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So not only could you uh, hear the record, but you sometimes could even see it. Today we're presenting a record that I think is just that. R.E.M. to me is a special group. Special because you have four incredibly talented and interesting individuals who also have vision, passion, they're uncompromising, and they have a specific point of view. To me, if there's a meaning to green, which is the name of the album, it may be about starting all over again. Like most great artists who start a new album, in a way you start over again. In the case of this band, uh, it seems as, as, as if they broaden their, their uh, horizons to the extent that the instrumentation is different, the approach seems to be different, uh, the songs may be somewhat more specific. You have a drummer playing mandolin on this record. You have a guitar player playing drums. You have a bass player playing keyboards. And you have a, a lead singer who's all over the place. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful mix. In a way, what really makes this band strong is their absolute understanding of what collaboration is. The idea of four people getting together and making each individual stronger. Green has a personality like Warner Brothers records have personalities. To me, this is the epitome of a Warner Brothers record. I'd like to introduce the band now. Mike Mills. Thank you, Lenny. Thanks for joining us, everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to introduce my comrades in vinyl for the past few months' hard work. <laughs> Behind me, the singer, Michael Stipe. This is our drummer, Bill Berry, the man in the resplendent suit. This is Mr. Guitar Man, Peter Buck. And uh, this record is a culmination of many months' hard work, including the, the last few, few months in the studio. And we're very happy with it. We think it's pretty good. We hope you like it. We're going to run, uh, run the record for you with some tape to look at while you hear it. So here it is. Thanks. Thanks, Lenny. Good job, Lenny. <laughs> Hi, I'm George Garrity. Welcome back. And. Uh, it says in the script I'm supposed to say a few comments about the record. I find that to be rather inappropriate at this point. I think everybody gets the picture. And certainly, uh, certainly I find it to be a real enviable uh, uh, position, as I'm sure everybody out there in TV land out there does, too, to be able to work with this band. It's certainly, and it, it reminded me this morning of uh, when we came down here to sign the band in April. Lenny Warnock had come into my office the day before, and he said, George, what are you doing tomorrow? And, I thought that's the easiest question he's asked me in years. I said, whatever you want me to do. And he said, we're going to go to Athens, Georgia and sign R.E.M. And just coincidentally, I had been on the phone uh, with um, a friend of mine who works for another company who had called me just to say that, uh, to congratulate us on having signed the band. And it certainly in, makes you feel real proud that, uh, that the organization that you work for, uh, that other people on the outside feel that and understand that this is the real thing. We're certainly proud, and I, I feel that this record fulfilled uh, and, you know, just, it's just a terrific record and, uh, you know, we're just real proud to be able to deal with it. And it's kind of funny because I'm, I'm talking to a, 
a group of people out there who are actually feeling the same way, I think. And you're all, you're all out there. And uh, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to introduce um, the other people in the organization. We came down here in April. Another thing kind of struck me was that the, the REM organization, this town, the, the people in the band, and certainly the people who work in the office seem to have a special relationship that was not like your usual, uh, OK, kid, you want to be a rock star kind of situation here. <laughs> well, so in that, in that light, I'd like to introduce Bertus Downs, who's the attorney. Um, I'd just like to follow up on what George was saying, which is it works both right. ways. The band uh, and the whole uh, R.A.M. family here at the organization couldn't be happier uh, than to be uh, with the Warner Brothers family. Uh, we are, uh, have been attracted to the Warner's situation uh, for a long time, uh, partly because even though it's a, a big, huge label and it has a lot of the advantages of being a big, huge label around the world, uh, and we can appreciate those things. It, it seems like uh, a small label in the sense that the people, the sensitivity, the taste, uh, and the dignity in which they approach uh, what they do, it seems like a good fit with what we try to do. So um, uh, it's been a great honeymoon the last six months since the uh, signing back in April. Uh, but I guess we have to keep it in perspective. Nobody's bought a record yet. So we're uh, very excited about the fact that maybe a few people will. And we'll just appreciate uh, working with you all and getting to know you face to face rather than uh, face to camera, to satellite, to, uh, to y'all when you're in Athens or when we're in, in your city. I look forward to that. I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Jefferson Holt, the manager of the band. Hi. Um, we're really looking forward to uh, getting out of uh, Athens, although I think George may attest that this is really Mayberry RFD, not <laughs> Athens, Georgia. Uh, no, we're really looking forward to uh, the next year and uh, getting out on tour and hopefully seeing you in your town. And as Bert said, not uh, over a camera. Um, there's a, it's a small organization here in Athens, um, but obviously uh, Bert and I and the band couldn't do it without um, two very important people who I'm sure you'll meet over the telephone uh, any day now. And that's Debbie Kilpatrick, who's our office manager. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and Liz Hammond, who uh, handles the fan club and uh, takes care of us. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and before we go outside to, uh, to finish up, uh, we just want to thank uh, everybody at Warner Brothers Central who set this up, John Bugue and Steve Baker and Lenny and George, who set this up. The, the whole idea of the satellite presentation is just is really gratifying and, and honoring to us. And we'd also like to thank everybody out there who, uh, who took the time out of their, to arrange their schedules to be able to be here and to share the, uh, the first listen through and the first of many listens, hopefully, to Green. So I think we go outside now. Well, wait a minute. We've got one thing to do. Um, Michael. Oh, yeah. Oh, special. <laughs> uh, Michael wants Caroline. Caroline, is this the right dress? It's, it's, hold the skirt under. Uh, Here. Can we? Yeah, you. Excuse me. <laughs> it's big. So now we're going outside. OK, now we're, we're going outside. outside. to be here. Unfortunately, he's completely incapable of saying anything, so he's just going to wave at the camera. Wave, Scott. Thanks, Peter. Great ears. What was that, Scott? Great ears. Thanks, what was that, Scott? <laughs> Thanks, Jefferson. Beam me up, Scott. Glad to be here. Thank you all. We all live here in this, in this house. house. <laughs> it's a big, happy family. Bye. Who gets Bye -bye. to say cut, Lenny? I think we wave. We all wave. We all wave. Bye. Okay. 